The ACL stands for anterior cruciate ligament and ligaments attach bone to bone. Um, the anterior cruciate ligament is located in the knee and it attaches our femur, which is our thigh bone, to our tibia, which is our shin bone. And its main function is to prevent uh, translation or movement forward of the tibia relative to the thigh. So it can get injured during, for example, hyperextension. So there are over 100,000 ACL injuries every year uh, in sports in the U.S. So there are several ways that the ACL can be injured, but believe it or not, 70% of those are non-contact, um, usually due to a uh, imp improper landing technique um, where there's too much uh, force, on, uh, abnormal force on the knee, or if the knee gets hyperextended, or if a person plants uh, and twists or pivots incorrectly, it can pop. And typically people will um, notice uh, either a painful or non-painful pop in the knee. So the ACL is the most commonly injured uh, knee ligament uh, in sports. And unfortunately, females are three to eight times more likely to tear their ACL than men, uh, particularly if they're an athlete. Um, another risk factor is if an athlete or individual has had a prior ACL tear, they could re-tear the one that they injured, um, or they could tear the other one, unfortunately. And there are many theories as to why people tear their ACLs. Uh, some has to do with uh, abnormal strength between the quads and the hamstrings. Um, as I mentioned earlier, uh, improper technique when we jump and land. Um, so those are some of the main reasons. So oftentimes people know if there's something wrong with their knee, especially if they've torn their ACL because it will often swell and it will feel unstable, particularly with lateral movement. Kids who've torn their ACL might, in a basketball game might try to go back in and recognize that they can't move like they used to. They might be able to run in a straight line, but they can't move side to side or pivot very well without their knee feeling unstable. Um, there are tests that athletic trainers and physicians um, can do on the sideline or in the office, and those are pretty good at uh, figuring out or giving us the information we need um, to confirm an ACL tear. Um, we treat those uh, with surgery in patients who are young and active or those who are older uh, but want to remain active, for example, going snow skiing or they're very active in basketball, sports where you need to be able to pivot and cut. Um, otherwise, um, in recent years, we've taken a more conservative approach and um, typically just with physical therapy, people can strengthen the muscles around their knee, retrain those muscles, and um, live without an ACL. So not all ACL tears can be prevented, but we can significantly decrease the risk of an ACL tear. Um, and that can happen in several ways. There are plenty of ACL prevention programs that are out there um, in schools, that athletic trainers can provide, personal trainers can provide. Um, and really it's about uh, mechanics, proper mechanics in your sport. So we know that uh, things like sleeves for knees or braces, they don't prevent ACL tears. They can prevent some other things, but they don't prevent ACL tears. Um, and so uh, learning the proper mechanics of how to not only jump, but more importantly, how to land with enough knee flexion, which is something women don't typically do, which is why they're at increased risk for tearing their ACL. Um, making sure the hamstrings are um, adequately strong um, compared to the quads. And then again, um, stressing the importance of just uh, muscle memory and knowing how to um, perform properly with proper technique in your sport.